Hello everyone, welcome to a new lecture on active filters, theory and design. In this lecture, we will be taking on introduction, introduction on filters and filter types according to the pass band and stop band and filter type according to the polynomial. Active filter, single supply, we will be discussing about uh, single supply active filters and some topologies for second order filter and cascading of filter with an example. I am Chandralas Chandran, M Tech graduate from IC Bangalore. We are now working at a senior engineer at Calpron. Welcome to the lecture once again. About the lecture. Course, the, this is a theoretical course, B.Tech level. And these are the references I have taken. You can see it. As a prerequisite, you should have uh, knowledge on engineering mathematics, network analysis, and linear integrated circuits. So, introduction. What are filters? So just like we have a mechanical filter where the, the filter will be removing all the dust or dust and waste particles of, of in a water or any liquid like that. In a sing, single processing in electronics, a filter is a device which is a, is a device or process that removes some unwanted components or features from a signal. So it is the same feature like the a mechanical filter. So in a frequency perspective, we'll be, what is a filter means? Filter removes unwanted frequencies called stop band and passes only wanted frequencies uh, so in a frequency per frequency perspective we can say like this filter removes unwanted frequencies and those unwanted frequencies is called as is called as uh, stop band and uh, passes wanted frequency and wanted frequencies band is called as pass band and filters can be analog or digital what is analog in an analog it will be a circuit which made up, made up of filter uh, capacitor inductor and resistor uh, according to the combination we'll have some filters and that will be the analog type or, or the analog filter type. In a digital, there will be a processor and, and we will be writing a program for that. And so the filter will be a program which runs on the processor and the processor take care of the filtering part. So according to how the passband and stop band combination filters, stop band combination uh, filters are classified into low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter, band stop filter and all pass filter. Don't get confused with all pass filter. All pass filter is a filter which passes all the frequencies, but there will be a phase shift according to the frequencies. Phase shift will be different according to the frequencies. The frequency domain behavior of the filter is described mathematically in terms of transfer function. So any two port network will be having a transfer function. So accordingly, so for also, uh, also for a filter, there will be a transfer function or a network function. That is the ratio of Laplace transform of its output and input signals. So, therefore, the voltage transfer function of filter can be expressed. So, H of S is equal to V0S by VIS. VOS by VIS. So, that is the Laplace transform of the uh, 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 numerator by denominator of the Laplace transform of the signal. Where S is the complex frequency variable. So, S is equal to J omega. As you already know, in the network analysis, so the transfer function magnitude versus frequency is called amplitude response of frequency response. This is a very important feature. The transfer function magnitude versus frequency. The, the plot of magnitude versus frequency is called amplitude response or frequency response. And the transfer function phase shift versus frequency is called phase frequency response. That is the plot of phase shift versus frequency is called the phase frequency response. So, by replacing S with J omega, we have the same equation 1, we trans uh, change this to H of J omega equal to VO by J omega, VO J omega by VI J omega. And the amplitude which, which we can uh, represent in dB is, is, the equation is A is equal to 20 log H of J omega. So, we will be calculating all the uh, transfer function according to the dB, the de decibel uh, function uh, equation and this is that equation a is equal to 20 log h of j omega and phase uh, phase it can be written in the same way and the as yes, of the uh, network transfer function that is r argument of j omega h of j omega equal to argument of v o j omega by v i j omega so filter types first filter type is low pass filter and the this is the frequency response of the low pass filter where this is this is a uh, I'll just as a ideal filter ideal filter will be a infinite uh, transition band so and uh, for a but for a uh, practically practical low pass filter there will be a transition band like this so where uh, the amplitude get reduced by minus 3 db it is called the cutoff frequency so here 
F1 is the cutoff frequency and Fs is the frequency where the stop band starts. And this is the for some filter there will be some ripples. We will be seeing the future slides. There will be some ripple and this ripple uh, band is called the Amax. That, so it will be like this. There will be some ripple for example for a Chebyshev filter there will be a ripple like this. And here also sometimes there will be a ripple uh, in some filters there will be a ripples. So that is called the Amin. And F1 is called the cutoff frequency. Fs is the frequency at which the stop band begins. And so filter order, we, another definition is filter order. The order of the filter indicates the minimum number of reactive components that the filter will require. For example, uh, two second order means there will be one capacitor and one inductor. And first order can also be combination of one capacitor and one resistor. And second order can be two capacitors and Q, two resistors. And this order determines is uh, determined according to the polynomial of the equation. That is an uh, equation that is a transfer function according to the uh, uh, polynomial uh, obtained in the transfer function. Suppose the uh, transfer function polynomial is x s square. It is called as second order or otherwise when the maximum is s it will call the it is uh, it is called the uh, first order. So increasing order increases roll off rate increases roll of the roll of uh, I can say uh, roll off is the uh, transition the transition band the uh, frequency attenuation of the transition band and roll, increases roll of and brings the filter closer to the ideal response. So increasing order will brings the, bring the filter closer to the ideal response. So roll of rate, you will see the roll of rate. The roll of rate is the ratio of uh, ratio rate of change of the output of the filter versus frequency in its transition band. So we have already seen that low pass filter, there is a transition band and that is the rate of change of, of output of the filter versus frequency in the transition band is called the roll of rate. For, so for a so for a uh, ideal filter, it will be very maximum. So it is expressed as loss per decade, decade a 10 times, 10 times increase in frequency. The decade means a 10 times increase in frequencies or per octave a 2 time increase in the frequencies. That is sometimes we call 20 dB per decade. The transition band, the frequency transition is 20 dB per decade. That means 20 dB is reduced for 10 times the frequencies. Suppose there is a 5 dB at 10 kilohertz and there is a uh, 100K, there is a uh, 10 dB, then the, uh, there will be 15 dB per decade. That's the definition. So this is a high pass, the second type of filter. That is high pass filter. It is like there is a transition band. It's just the inverse of uh, low pass filter. There is a transition band here. So this is the cutoff here. There is a minus 3 dB frequency. That is F2 is the cutoff frequency. And Fs is the stop band frequency. Where the stop band starts from and goes to the zero. Next is the band pass filter. Band pass filter is geometrically symmetrical. That is around a center frequency that is symmetrical. So here there will be a center frequency that is F4. That is F4 so is equal to F1 plus F2 by F2. There will be two cutoff frequencies. One the lower cutoff and another one is uh, uh, upper cutoff. And the difference between this upper cutoff and lower cutoff is called the bandwidth. That is the F, uh, bandwidth is equal to F2 minus F1. And there will be a center frequency. That is a center between the uh, starting uh, F, uh, two cutoff frequencies. That is called the center frequency. Then that is defined by F0 equal to F1 plus F2 by 2. And quality factor. We had, we had defined another quality factor for band pass and band resist filter. There will be a quality factor. That is how, uh, how much the selectivity of the filter becomes. Suppose Q is maximum means the bandwidth reduces and the center frequency gain increases. So you can just imagine like that. So that is Q is equal to F0 by bandwidth. That is center frequency by bandwidth. That is F0 by F2 minus F1. So when plotted on linear low graph paper, F0 center frequency is called root over F1 into F2. So this is a pass band. And these are these two. There is two stop, ba stop band and one pass band. Okay. That is a band pass filter. And next is a band reject filter. It's just the inverse of uh, band pass filter. There will be, it will be passing, uh, all the lower frequencies and uh, pa uh, passing also the higher frequency, but there will be a uh, small uh, stop band where the uh, there will be uh, stop band where the there will be frequency uh, rejection. That is, a, there will be it will not uh, pass frequencies center to the 
to pass none. That is a that is shown that you can figure, you can just imagine like this. Say here, these frequencies are not allowed. So this is a narrow band pass filter. We have seen the wide band pass filter there, where there is a wide band of frequencies in the pass band. But here in the pass band, there is only single frequency. That is, it is a single frequency selection. So where the ratio of upper cutoff to lower cutoff, that is F2 to F1 is less than 1.1. Will will be the it will it is defined as a narrow band pass filter. So it is shown here. So the cutoff frequency it will be near here. So this is a sing, for a single frequency. So suppose you have to select uh, a single frequency. Suppose it's 16 kilohertz. You have to selectively uh, do. So this type of band pass filters are used. And then again the notch filter. The inverse of narrow band pass filter. That is a notch filter. Again there it is a single frequency uh, single frequency rejection. So here, suppose you want to, if you want to remove 50 hertz hum from the circuit, so we will be using this type of filters, so so that only one frequency or single frequency is selected, uh, rejected. So filter types again, another type of filter type. Filters can be classified into types according to the polynomial or parameters. We will be dealing with the most popular filters here. The first one is Butterworth filter. There there is no gain ripple in the pass band and stop band, and there is a slow cutoff. Then the next there is Chebyshev filter type 1. There is no gain ripple in the stop band, but there is a gain ripple in the pass band and there is a moderate cutoff. Chebyshev filter type 2. There is uh, gain ripple in the stop band, but moderate cutoff. So again, there is a Bessel filter. No group delay ripple, no gain ripple in the both band, but slow gain cutoff. It is the, the cutoff is slower than the Butterworth filter. That is a Bessel filter. So there are many other filters, but we will be discussing only the major ones only. So these filters only we will be discussing. So the transfer function can be recalculated as h of equal to n of s by d of s. We have already seen that. So this is the equation, the transfer function for a general nth order filter. Why it is called the nth order means so maximum uh, power of the s, s parameter. That is s variable, which is n. So this is s raised to n. Suppose it is a second order filter means the maximum power will be s raised to 2. So here it is s raised to n. So that is a nth order of filter. And there is some coefficients here. That is b, b on s. So that is, so this according to the coefficients of these, uh, according to the value of the coefficient b, the filter are classified into Butterworth, Chebyshev, Bessel like that. So here the case the gain of the circuit, the gain of the uh, uh, gain of the filter, the case again, the and these are coefficients of its corresponding polynomials. The Butterworth, Chebyshev, and Bessel filter sites differ only by the choice of coefficients b. That is, I, I told you, the, this, uh, according to the coefficients b, it is classified into Butterworth, Chebyshev, and Bessel, which yield slightly different response curves. So let us see the coefficients of these fil three filters. So these are the Butterworth coefficients. This is for uh, first order. There will be on only one coefficient that is b0 and that too it is one the value is one and second order it is like this there are b0 and b1 two coefficients and like that there will be s1 and s2 so like that so here that is one and 1 1.412 accordingly we are up to n order it will be in, uh, going like this these are Butterworth coefficients and this is a Chebyshev coefficient for a 0.1 db that is 0.1 db ripple in the passband so this is the these are the Chebyshev coefficients and these are the Bessel coefficients. So we'll be comparing. We, so we can compare the amplitude response of the three filters. So here Chebyshev, there is a small ripple here as a passband, but there is a sharp cutoff than all other filters. So Bessel, we have slow cutoff and this, there is a smooth curve. Uh, so there is a small uh, lower cutoff rate, and here it is the for a Butterworth, it is more than Bessel but less than Chebyshev. So uh, impulse response, these are the impulse response. The Butterworth has a small delay for the impulse, impulse response. Butterworth uh, larger than that and Chebyshev very larger than that. And there, there are ringing in the uh, uh, waveform for Butterworth and Chebyshev but no ringing in Bessel. So step, uh, step response you can see. Again Bessel there is no ringing. But uh, and there is a slow, uh, lower cut, uh, lower smooth transition from uh, slower uh, 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 zero to one. And Butterworth and Chebyshev have some ringing. 
So we can use Bessel function where like this step, on, step, step response is required. So this is the comparison between three filters. So Butterworth filter application, because of the maximally flat frequency response in the passband, it is used as an anti-aliasing filter in data converter. So, so because of the flat frequency response in passband, we, we can use that for in data converter, uh, converter application. The Butterworth filter is used in the audio processing application, animation, audio noise reduction. For noise reduction, we can use this Butterworth filter and it's also used in various communications and control systems. It's used in radar to design the display of tar radar target tar tracking. So it's used for motion analysis. Chebyshev filter, it has a uh, large, um, more uh, higher transition uh, from uh, uh, high, high value to low value. It has a big good roll off rate. So widely used in audio and communication system due to their steep roll off and accurately, accurately adjustable cutoff frequencies. And they are used to, you also use in medical equipment such as EEG machine and in radar systems and where a sharp cutoff is needed to filter out unwanted signals. So in audio and medical equipment, EEG and radar it is used. And Bessel filter finally, these filters are commonly used in audio crossovers that is where at the power amplifier where we, we want to connect to tutor and subwoofer like that. So here we there will be using this type of filter because that is a very smooth transition from pass band to stop band. And roll off rate of filters as the order of the filter increases, the roll off rate increases, the roll off rate doubles as the increase ordering. So when it goes from first order to second order, the roll off rate doubles. So this is a graph between roll off rate and order. So when the order is less, the roll off rate is very small or smaller. So for a second order, it is like this. So for a 10th order, it is very sharp and the roll off rate increases. So this, with this can be closely approximated as to a uh, ideal filter. So if you want a good uh, more stable order filter, we, we should choose uh, higher order filter or we can also cascade also uh, cascade smaller order filter to get the uh, bigger order filter. So passive filters, passive filters are filters which no gain. So it is a uh, circuit which contains only resistor and only the reactive, reactive and resistive components. Suppose uh, inductor and capacitor, inductor, inductor and resistor like that, but no op-amp or transistor, no other active device. So, or otherwise there are filters with no op-amp or any other active devices. So in this lecture, we will be dealing with active filters and that too with single supply. For split supply, connect the VCC by 2 to ground. So in future slides, we will be seeing that for a there will be VCC by 2, uh, half, half VCC point uh, for the single supply. For split supply, there is not required of uh, there is the VCC by two is not required. We'll be seeing the future slides. So this is a uh, difference in active filter and there is a op amp here, which uh, give pro provides gain to the circuit. Here there is no gain, so the input will be attenuated at the output for a passive filter. And this is a split supply versus single supply. This is a split supply. There is that is plus and minus. Suppose uh, for a sound forum we use this. Uh, plus 15 and minus 15 volt and for a for a 358 lm358 like that we will be using single supply so that will so here that so for a uh, so and for a, a single supply we should give a half vcc that is half supply here to provide the q point that will be discussing in the future slides so a single su supply circuit connects op amp power pins to a positive voltage and ground a virtual ground halfway between the positive su supply voltage and ground is, ref is the reference for the input and output order for a sub for a, so for a single supply there will be a q point at the midway between supply and ground so this is a virtual ground so for a virtual ground for the single supply that is a vcc by 2 suppose we are using 5 volt vcc so the q point is 2.5 volt. So we have to bias this uh, op amp to 2.5 volt or add like this at the non inverting input. So we will be seeing how the non inverting input, non inverting amplifier is uh, operation operated. Uh, so we will be seeing that. So here single supply operation requires the generation of a virtual ground usually at the voltage e equal to VCC by 2. The circuit shown below can be used to generate VCC by 2, but it performs the performance deteriorated low frequencies.
that is because of that uh, biasing. So gain stage comes in both two basic varieties, inverting and non-inverting. And CN acts as a coupling capacitor. They have AC gain only. If CN is omitted in a DC system, DC gain must be taken into account. And should be and the CN should be hundred times the capacitor for the filter. So here this is a inverting. This is an inverting uh, single supply uh, filter. So here. So here it is a CN is there. So suppose this is the inverting and we 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 again input to the inverting terminal. This is the gain gain resistors and we'll be collecting a uh, resistance uh, here R3 R3 where R1 parallel R3 equal to E is equal to R1 parallel R2 and there is a bias here ECC by 2 as already uh, already discussed. So for the Q point we have to give a VCC by 2 here that is half VCC here. And so, so the input signal get biased and it will be uh, fixed at the Q point. That is, it fixed at the 2.5 volt at the output. For a non-inverting, we will be given uh, giving the uh, signal at the uh, non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal will just like this. The gain resistors and here we will be giving a half VCC to provide the Q point. So this is a single pole low pass filter. That is a first order low pass filter, single supply low pass filter, and the uh, frequency selection is determined by R2 and C1. So F0 equal to cutoff frequency 2 pi R2. So we have to find the low uh, cutoff frequency and that and when you find the capacity uh, uh, cutoff frequency according to these two components, the filter is designed and this is a gain factor R2 and R1. That is gain you can calculate like this. So first we have so how to calculate means first we have we, we should fix this capacitance. Suppose sel select one 1 mf or 1 nanofarad. And then from this equation uh, with the cutoff frequency, calculate the value of R2 and then find the uh, we, what gain we require, and from that we were to derive the R1. And this capacitance will be 100 times uh, larger than this capacitance. That is, that is a coupling capacitance, and here we will be given giving ECC by 2. And this is a non inverting one. Here we have uh, a signal is given to non inverting terminal, and here we have the gain resistors and here we will be giving the half ECC for the bias and this is a high pass filter just you can see and for what difference between high pass filter and low pass filter is high pass filter there will be a series capacitance and a parallel resistance like this but in the low pass there will be a resistance here at the C1 and uh, there will be a capacitance here so here for, for a high pass filter this is a non inverting case see here we are giving the input at the non inverted terminal and here we will give the half VCC for the Q point or the bias and non inverted terminal here we have uh, capacitance here C1 R1 and this R2 R3 which provides the gain and here we will give the half VCC for the bias and this is a all pass filter the all pass filter process all the frog process passes all the frequency at the same gain is used to change the phase of the signal so, and it can be also used as a phase correction circuit and here it passes all the frequencies but the uh, phase shift will be different at their different frequencies and double pole circuit double pole circuits mean this is a second order circuit that is called as double pole that is a, there will be two poles uh, for according to the order the poles increases pole are uh, where from the transfer function we can see at the numerator and denominator when the denominator goes to infinity that is called the root of the s s s function that is the pole and here this is a second order filter it will be uh, it will be hanging double pole and there will be 40 db per per decade roll off and several implementations of topology exist some double pole circuit topologies are available in no pass high pass band pass and notch configurations others are not and when band pass and notch filters are shown they are high q single frequency uh, selective or rejective or uh, do I implement a wider band pass or notch band filter cascade low pass and high pass stage the uh, the pass cancel should not overlap for a band pass and not overlap for a band band reject filter that is that means for a band pass filter you can cascade a low pass and high pass and for a uh, band reject filter we can uh, put parallel and mix that add add that two filters that is low pass and filter in parallel we can uh, 
uh, add the both output and get the get a band reject filter. And silent key topology is the first for the second order filter. Silent key topology is one of the most widely known and popular second order topologies. It is low cost, requiring only a single op amp and four passive components to accomplish the tuning. Tuning is easy, but changing the style of filter from Butterworth to complex is not that easy. The circuits shown are unity gain. Change the gain of a silent key circuit also change the filter tuning and the style. That means when we if we want to change the gain of a silent key circuit the filter parameters also changes so that is a compromise between the gain and the frequency selection it is easiest to implement a silent key filter as a unity gain better work so this is the uh, second order lpf silent key unity gain band uh, better work so you can uh, here there is a coupling compressor where the dc is added or you can put a, another op amp to add the dc and give here and this these four uh, components uh, make the frequency response that is R3 is equal to R4 high. These two, these, two, these two resistors are for the bias and that can be put high as already uh, we have uh, discussed earlier uh, and the capacitor is 100 times the maximum capacitance of these two and R1 equal to R2, C1 equal to C2, C2 and F0 equal to root 2 by 4 pi R1, C2. And this is high pass, the same and inverse of the um, earlier circuit. And here, uh, this is a unit again, C1 equal to C2, R1 equal to R, R, R equal to 2 R1. And here we will give the VCC by 2 for the bias. If we don't give bias, there will be clipping in the output. And this is a uh, equation for uh, cutoff frequency, root 2 by 4 pi R1 C1. And this is a silent key wide band, band pass filter, which is cascade of this is the high pass. The just uh, we have seen that here. This is a high pass filter and this is a low pass filter. Both are cascaded and the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter which should be lower than cutoff frequency of the low pass filter. And both will both combining will give a wide band pass filter. And another Topology is multiple feedback topology. Multiple feedback topology is very versatile, low cost, and easy to implement. Unfortunately, calculations are somewhat complex and certainly beyond the scope of the circuit collection. If all that is needed is a unity gain better with, then these circuits will provide a close approximation. The multiple feedback topology is commonly used in filters that can high Q and require high gain. So, where the band pass, suppose for a band pass filter, we have a narrow band. And the, so for that, these types of filters are used where the high Qs. Okay. So this is a low pass filter uh, uh, for a, a tint. Uh, sorry, uh, for the multiple feedback. So you can see here there is a multiple feedback. Earlier we have only one feedback from output to input. Here there are two feedback. That's why it is called multiple feedback. And if cutoff frequency equal to one by two pi R C, that is C one equal to C, C two equal to four C. R3 is equal to R, R2, R by 2 root 2, R1 equal to R2 equal to R root 2. So from this equation, we can, we can derive the, these components. We can find, design, design these components. And here, this is how easy we can derive, design these components and for the, for the circuit to work. And this is high pass filter. Same, this we can, from this equation, we can design these components. Here again, we have given a VCC by 2 for the bias and this is a band pass filter and we and again we have here uh, some equations we have from the equation we can find these values of these raster and uh, capacitors and again here given the bias point and gain is the gain is 2.3 db next is a twin t topology the twin t topology uses either one or two op amps it is based on passive RC topology that uses three resistors and three capacitors. Matching these six passive components is critical for fortunately it is also easy. The entire network can be constructed from a single value of resistance and the single value of capacitance running them in parallel to create R3 and C3 in, in the 220. So here see why it is called tin T means here you can see this is the this is a low pass filter. See resistor in series, capacitor in parallel. This is a low pass filter and that is in a T shape. 
that is one dresser here one dresser and center one capacitor it's a t-shape again here we are given parallel another t that is there is a capacitance here that is this is a high pass filter this is a high pass t so there is this capacitance series and dresser in parallel so this is a high pass t and this is a low pass t and combination of these two both t is called as twin t topology and here we are given the R4 and R3 is R4 and R5 is higher value, very high value above 100k, and C is C in is a hundred times the capacitance of these ca these capacitance value of these capacitance, and here we can uh, see we design this uh, capacitance value according to these equations, and it's a single op amp band pass filter, and this is a single op amp notch filter here. Here you can see here this is the 20 configuration. And this is a bias, bias resistors and capacitance. And but by from single open we can make a notch filter. That is a single, very single selective rejection. Uh, as you can see the graph earlier, there's a notch filter. And this is a dual open low pass filter. So here again there's a T here. So this is a low pass filter and uh, dual. This is a dual open and one one more open is required. For giving the feedback from output to input, and this is the feedback. And from this equation, we can design these values. And zero op amp high pass filter. Again, from these equations, we can uh, uh, find out the values. And this is a dual op amp notch filter. It's a very uh, perfectly working filter. And here we have the twin T. It's the feedback from uh, in output to and but uh, this dual op amp is somewhat, somewhat better than the single op amp notch filter it is somewhat better and this will be a working with nice nicely working filter circuit and here we give on the vcc by 2 there's a biasing factor okay and this is an inverting wide band pass filter and the type of band pass filter from this we can make a wide band pass filter okay and these are the equations for that FC1. This is higher uh, lower cutoff and higher cutoff. And this is a free uh, equation for that. We can, from this equation, we can design these components and uh, finally the circuit can be working. So next we will be uh, saying cascading filters is for higher order filters. So from small order filters, we can cascade those uh, small order filter and uh, get a bigger order filter, higher order filter. So here you can see this is the first order, only first order. There will be in first order there will be one capacitor, one resistor, and this is the second order. And in the second order there will be two capacitors and two resistors. And third order can be a cascade of first and second, fourth, second and second, fifth, first, second, second, sixth, second, second, second. So by cascading we can get a higher order filter, and that will be a much more simpler circuit. Because the complexity can be uh, for designing can be reduced. So this is a coefficient table of butterfly filter. So this, these values are according to the order and number of stages and the values are A1 and A, 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 I and BA and that is in the equation we will be seeing in the future slide. That is from the equation, we, from, from here, from the table we can set the equation A1, A, I and BA values and this is for the first order and first stage, single stage that is one stage. These are the A, A, I1 and B1 values and for second order these are the A, A1 and B1 values and for third order this is the first stage this first one is this i is the stage number this is the first stage for the first stage there is a A1 and B1 value and the second stage this is the A2 and B2 values and for the fifth order you can see here there is a uh, single first stage that is the first stage uh, this is the A1 and B1 values second stage A2 B2 third stage A3 B3 okay so this is a coefficient of uh, 1 dB Chebyshev filter, 1 dB, that's a pass band ripple, 1 dB Chebyshev filter. This is a coefficient table for Bessel filter. So for a better understanding, let us see a filter design example. So we will be designing a fifth order, three stage unity gain Butterworth low pass filter with corner frequency. Corner frequency means the cutoff frequency at a frequency of 50 kilohertz. So from, from the transfer function of a single change, that is, AI of S equal to A0 by 1 plus AIS plus BIS2. So here 
we have that coefficients a1, ai and di. So according to the stage number, this a1, ai and di va uh, va value varies. So from the table we have for the first uh, for, for the first order filter, for the first stage we have a1 equal to 1, b1 equal to 0. For the second stage, second order filter, we have a2 equal to 1.6180, b2 equal to 1. And the third stage, second order filter, we have a3 equal to 0 0.16180, b3 equal to 1. For any confusions, we can, we, you, you can look at the coefficients table. a1, a, a, b, a, coefficient table, you can see that. So first, first is the first order filter. From equation learn, we have... This is from the from this equation we have a i of s equal to a0 by 1 plus 1 s. That is the equation for the first stage. First stage, first order. And so, so from that a1 equal to omega c r1 c1. And with c1, first fixing c1, 1 nanofarad, we can find out the r1 value. That is 3.16k. And now, next the second stage. Second stage is a unity gain Salon key low pass filter. So this is the circuit for that. It's a second order low pass filter, Salenki low pass filter. And this is the equation for that. This is A and this is B. Uh, because it's in the second stage, we can denote it as A2 and B2. And this is the equation for that, A2 and B2. And from these two equations, we can derive R1 and R2 from the quadratic equation uh, formula. Uh, so this is the equation, R1 and R2. R1 is minus and R2 is plus. And we can, this equation for C2, C2 capacitor from C1 and from, from B2 and A2, we can derive C2. And fixing C1, we can find out C2, this equation, this is, this is a value. And R1 and R2, this are, these are the values. And third stage, third stage is also is also a unit again, Salon K Lopas filter. But according to your table, the values of A and B and A and B coefficients are different. These are A, A3 and B3, because in the third stage, it is A3 and B3. And then according to your table, we can get the values of A3 and B3 and then find out C2, R1 and R2 with fixing uh, C1. We can find out these values in the same uh, same way as uh, sec for, for the second stage. So this is a required circuit. We, we, found out, we found out all the values. This is from A1 and from, here, from this A, A2 and B2 and from A3 and B3. We have you find these values and this is a required circuit. See this, this is the first order, second order, second order, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. This is the total is the fifth order, three stage low pass filter, Butterworth low pass filter, unity gain Butterworth low pass filter. So this is the frequency response when I simulated results in, uh, when I simulated in Tina. So this is the uh, response. See, you can see this is a good, there's a good roll of rate. See here, this is the cutoff frequency. And this is the phase response. So linear phase response. There's a very good response here from the and from design circuit. So that's it. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel. So thank you. For any queries, we can mail me to change484gmail.com and put in the comment section. Thank you.